Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome back to part 5 of my Let's Play through Gnomeless Quest Paradox RPGs version 2.40 update. We were just about to leave for Yamatai and the festival. And the girls band competition is the main event of the festival. In the end, will we be able to win it? They're singing. Ah, uh, Panchila Hamburger. And that was the performance from the Seahorse Gr Marines. Well, they're not bad, are they? They're very cute. These girls are just everywhere, aren't they? Huh, Alice? Alright, should it... Is it alright for you not to be in the green room? Our appearance is at the end of the second round. The first round is... The first half we're free. So I thought I'd take a look at the other competitors. So then, let's go to the judging for the Seahorse Gr Marines. First of all, our famous... Yes, famous singer, Mach. Their performance is a bit clumsy, but... I feel the soul of the ocean. Seven points. Next, the top idol of Grandor, Saki. Mm -hmm. They're very lively. Eight points. Finally, the secretive composer, Grai... Gair... Gairaski. Yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Not really important. Mm -mm. Gairaski. Not bad at all, not bad at all. Seven points. Oh, my Alma. What is she doing? So, amongst the three on the judge board, Two of us, two of them are from our side. Isn't that uh, kind of convenient for us? Saki and Alma Alma as well would not show favoritism towards us just because we're on the same side. Mm. Truly, that is correct. In the end, we're going to have to win this on our own merits. So I wonder if our team will really be all right. The Seahorse Marines, in total 22 points. Starting from the very first team, a pretty high total. We did well! Thank you everybody for your support. So the audience is getting kind of fired up from the from the healthiness of the Seahorse Marines. It seems like they're having fun. Since this was an opportunity, maybe I should have dressed up as a girl and participated too. Sonia, who would have smacked me for that joke, isn't here right now. And she made such a big fuss earlier, too. And I don't see her in Yamata anywhere. Somehow, I get a bad premonition. Well, that didn't take long. So then, the next band is... The Pretty Childhood Friend Team. Yay! <laughs> we Shiver, shiver. Flinch, flinch. Shakin! As expected, she's participating. Rumi, in rare form, seems to be fired up. Maybe it's because 
on the judgment board is Alma Elma. But how does she know that before? Well, let's not ask questions. So then, start your performance. Everybody, let's show them the results of our practice. One, two. Boah! Paralita, paralita, paralita. Green, green, green. More than the audience, I'm scared of my members. Whoa, this is no good. The pretty childhood friend team scores, in total, two points. Your existence is a great offense to music. Hearing this performance and how we feel about it, you should put yourself in the place of the guests and consider things a little. You can't call it music if you're just randomly throwing sounds when you're randomly throwing sounds at your audience. Our music is too early for the times. Shombori. Okay, so they've uh, lost rather pitifully. And Sonia's music career ends with this. Still, they did pretty well getting through the preliminaries. Uh, about that. There were no preliminaries. Oh, that's right, there were no preliminaries. Huh? Since the total registration was only 18 teams, all of them are participating in the final round. There were an unusually few number of participating participants this year. This Yamatai Men's Festival is a men's festival. So the world's uh, heroic types were waiting for a, a hosting of a different type of thing, but all of a sudden they decided to do a girls' band contest instead. The men of the world broke down crying about it. Um, so that's why the participating teams are so few. In that case, we really do have a good chance of winning. So then, talking along with Alice, various bands performed. And then the next one is... The next band is... Planet Elements! <laughs> A burning up heat, a quiet rondo, spinning, spinning waltz. None of these go together at all. It's another group from within our group. There was absolutely no harmony with the sounds in this particular performance. But, strangely, that too gave a... I could hear the breath of nature in it. It's the same as having no performance technique at all, but... I felt something mysterious. Yes, nine points. That yeah, truly is a quartet of... The, a, a, a quartet of nature. Nine points. It wasn't bad, but it was a bit unpolished. I'm being strict here, but I'm going with eight points. Alma, Alma, you're too harsh. So then, that's the high score with 26. The planet elements are recorded as the top so far. <laughs> they are doing, they're uh, doing their best aren't, up there, aren't they? But we're still above them. 
You've got some incredible confidence there. I didn't get to watch their practice, but it seems Saki was satisfied with it. Certainly, they've got, they're going to be pretty high level. So then next up is a team that came together over drinking tea. This is the Oka Okota Tea Time. Yay! Hey! <laughs> Let's do this, sucker! Rock and roll! These, this group, all of them, are all over 500 years old, aren't they? In particular, the leader, Tamamo, is in excess of 2,000 years old. Calling themselves girls and like this. But you're saying that, Alice. Aren't you against the rules too? Your actual age is over 20 as well. I am, in body and heart, a girl. That's a convenient assessment. So, saying that, Tamamo's group's performance ends. Yes, a splendid performance. With 27 points, they're our top scorer so far. With this, the first round is complete. After a 15-minute intermission, we're going to be starting the second round. So then I should be going back to the green room. You can look forward to it. Alright, do your best. So then the first round is over. After a short break, the second round starts. And every team gets their performance as the crowd enjoys it. And then, at the very end, our team participates. So then we finally have our final performance of the evening. As our closing act, the Dream Collab Girls. Ah, it's here at last. And we got to Alice's group's performance. So will it really go well? So let's go show them the results of our training. To think there'd be so many guests, I'm still a little embarrassed. Well, if we're going to do it, let's take it seriously. So then everybody, enjoy. Ah, uh, Rejail makes me laugh. Amazing. So Alice's group's performance completely blows away the rest of the other bands. They've got the passion and their technique, and it's this an overwhelming wave of sound. We've got uh, guests, audience members cheering. Say they're all cute. An amazing band. They're sure to get the top. Okay, great. So, with their passionate performance, they've charmed the audience. With this, their performance is a big hit. With this, the audience gets fired up, and with applause that seems like it would rock the Coliseum, they complete their performance. Dream Collab Girls, a splendid performance. So then, the required points are, they're all cute, and their technique is the best. 
If I could, I'd like to pinch my... Um, squeeze myself in the middle of them. Is that not good? This guy has got to be from Pornoff. Huh? Uh, awarded points. The number is... Five quadrillion! I'm going to be a bit harsh in judging you here. Nine points. That was truly amazing. That was a... You are a wonderful ensemble. No complaints. Full points of ten. So then the total is five quadrillion and nineteen. The Dream Collab Girls easily wins the prize. <laughs> Naturally. We've got the victory. We did it. Hearing this great applause from the stage, this is the best. I'm glad we did all that practice. With this, they win the uh, crown of the competition. And the winning team gets to receive a job change item as prize. And we get the Captain Shield. This is a job change item that lets us change to the Shield Knight. If you've mastered Soldier, you can get to the upper class with this one. And again, I cannot but thank you, Vijayo Nuvisa Tasa. Our performance was the best. It was a lot of trouble, and it was embarrassing, but I guess it was fun. Vijayo, your concentration was amazing. And Ruvisa, you really got fired up. Well, just a bit, it was... No, quite a bit. It was interesting. So, with this, we've won the prize and got our hands on a job change item. So, from now on, going forward, let's enjoy the festival. Hey, Luca, would you like to wander around with me? What are you saying? Luca is my partner. Luca is going to enjoy the festival with me. So, what should I do? I guess this is the little date they talked about. At one point, the date was supposed to be... Or, there were a bunch of date partners you were supposed to be able to choose, but... It came down to these two, I guess. Hearing her say that makes it worth it. Yep. So, we've met a... We've, uh... Join paths with Sonia. At the end of the festival, there's going to be a big uh, fireworks demonstration. So after we've enjoyed the festival, we should leave the town in order to look up at the fireworks. And there's a bunch to look at, but we'll, uh, I'll just show you a few things that are highlights. So hitting targets. Want to do it? All right, I'll show you what I can do. I missed them all. The guy at the counter says, Furthermore, your misfires hit me. Twice. So then, do you want to take me home as a freebie? No, I'm good, thanks. Then, instead of me, a Nekomata doll. It's our most popular. Thank you. It's cute. 
Yeah. Oh, what's this? You want the Necromata doll? Yeah. So then, here you go. Yeah. And Tama takes the Necromata doll in her mouth and leaves. Taking the doll away like that. What's she planning to do with it? Tama likes to collect Neko goods. Or cat goods. Maybe she thinks they're her friends. Hmm. Sonia, you know a lot about all of our allies. You take good care of them. Oh, you think so? Yeah, you're like the mom of the whole pocket mall oh, castle. Uh, mom? You want to become a mom, mom with Lucas' help? Munch, munch, munch. Nuriko is eating t yakisoba. Nuriko? Did Morgan buy this yakisoba for you? Cute! Well, while uh, you're being all lovey-dovey, I'll take care of Nuriko here. We're not being lovey-dovey or anything. <clears throat> but thanks for looking after Nuriko. So then... Nuriko, what do you want to eat next? Q! Q! Apple candy. Takoyaki. It's a festival, so I'll buy you both. Don't make her eat too much. Yeah. Chrome's doing some kind of performance there, too. Lorat and Rijeo here are here. Lorat's eating taiyaki. That stuffing his face, really. Lorat, you've got some in the corner of your mouth. So, Rijeo picks something off of the corner of Lorat's mouth with her fingers. Oh, did you think I would lick it off with my mouth? I'm not doing anything stupid. She says that, and then she takes the crumb of food and eats it off of her fingers. Like a civilized girl, I guess. What's up with that face you're making? Is that is it that strange? No, it was a feast. I'm here. Oh, you've come, have you, hero? To you, I thought I, I was just thinking to give you thanks. Huh? What are you surprised about? It's thanks since I've been using the library in the castle more than usual. There are so many interesting... There are so many books that catch my eye in there. Uh, yeah. You're very welcome to it. Furthermore, I wonder if there would be a good book, a good fascinating book, that would help me forget about this whole fracas. I guess she doesn't like the, the uh, noise of the festival. You, do you have any, uh, does anything come to mind? Nope. Yeah, they're talking about, she's talking about the book from the, uh, Labyrinth book. So apparently she's figured everything out, and Luke is playing dumb. But that's fine. Ah. Uh, she really likes this cooled cola. There's so many tasty things here. I'd like to just eat this and that and everything. I wonder if she means that in a uh, in a bad way. But anyway. But then, 
Granny's watching over me. Yeah, no eating everything. Oh yeah, through here you can see a scene of uh, Rolf and Rolf and Luvisa. Come to think of it, I don't know where Novisa and Tasa are. No, wait, I think I remember. Okay, here's Tasa. Here's Novisa. Oh, I gotta talk to Lu Lumi. She is such a big fan of all my Oma. Well, all's well that ends well, right? Lumi. Mm, that's most of what's in interesting north of the bridge. Me! Help me! Bunny! No, no, it's a uh, rabbit! Rabbit! Hey, what's gone, going on here? Barney, did you... I didn't do this. She got drunk and jumped in on her own. We got to save her immediately. Well, we don't really need to hurry. It'll be alright. Thanks to her fluffy wool, she floats in water. And truly, Mary's just floating on the surface of the water. She doesn't give, show any signs of sinking. Rabbit! <laughs> the current took her away. It's alright. She's got caught up on a bridge or something downstream. We can recover her later. Later, you say. Is it alright to leave her like that? It might be best go check on her. Well, not particularly, but here she is. What's this? A sheep floated down from upstream. Well, this year is the year of the sheep. Maybe it's uh, something in connection to that. Sorry that our uh, sheep is causing trouble for you. Well, we'll secure her here. Don't worry about it. Enjoy the festival, please. Sure, great. Oh. Nibble, nibble. So this is what takoyaki is. This thing called a festival is wonderful. Oh! It's Luca. Going on a date with a nameless village girl. You are at an age where you uh, are interested in such things, aren't you? What do you mean, nameless village girl? I'm her, his childhood friend, Sonia. Sonia? In the Ilias database, no such person exists. Well, whatever then. You should hurry up and cut ties with that little Mao. And that's all she has to say. So many tasty things. I love festivals. What bugs me about this? Even though I'm a dog, I have a cat's tongue. Meaning that she can't eat hot food very well. Anyway, what's bothering me is their names have changed back to their normal names. I mean, if you want to be normal names, that's fine. But if you want to do angel names, that's fine. But stick to one or the other, jeez. So, we left Yamatai and went to the top of a hill nearby. From there, we'll be able to see the fireworks well. Wow, so pretty. That's quite something, isn't it? As expected of the fireworks men of Yamatai, they know what they're doing. It was truly a lot of trouble to get here all this way. Although all of you don't seem to know, don't know about it. 
A time loop, you told us. Well, it's good that you solved it. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to be of any help to you. Since my memories were resetting as well, it came to nothing. Q! Q! You knew what was going on? The fact that time was looping? Q! Of course I noticed, she says. <laughs> as expected of the Fairy of Chaos. It's no wonder that the Dark Goddess set her as a special target for surveillance. I shouldn't have said that! <laughs> well, we had pretty well observed that. You do kind of surveil Neuroko, after all. Well, okay then. I'm watching you. Neuroko, I'm watching you. QQ! Kaka! Q! QQ! So, Morgan and Nuriko get along and play. Jeez, how carefree. But, if such an incident keeps happening going forward, it'll be very, very bad. Well, if it comes up, we'll all work together to solve it again. Everybody doesn't remember it, I guess, but even in this incident, they helped me out a lot. That's right. We do have to over we do have to face any kind of off, any kind of uh, difficulty. What's waiting for us in our adventures ahead is a cruel f is a cruel fate after all. Why did your father kill my mother in order to follow the true history or for some other purpose? And what's going to be happening in this world? What we should do? Whether we can save the world or, or not? But one thing is certain. As we go forward, the ones who will be at the center of the situation will be, without a doubt, you and I. To the ends of the world. No, to the ends of space-time. We're going together. In order to save the world. Yeah, I understand. Everybody and the world. Everybody and the world. In order to destroy them. What is it? No, it's nothing. Nidiko, you're the best. It's said that there's a great decision waiting for me. And we don't know where that decision is going to guide us. But we're def but I'm definitely going to put a stop to this future of destruction. No matter what it takes, no matter what I have to become. And with that, the festival came to an end. It was a fun time. Having our fun times, we returned to our days of adventure. And the next morning... Hey! Pizza delivery! No way! It can't be! Calm down. I ordered it. All that talk about pizza made me want to have one. 
Oh, jeez. I thought that we'd returned into the loop. Free pizza. I can't hold any more pizzas, but a free pizza. The loop is over and the festival is over. So let's return to our adventures. And that's that for... That's that for the whole uh, version update. I guess I'll show you the new job that we can get to. Just some random person. Here at the bottom, Shield Knight. If you finish... If you finish Soldier and you have the Captain Shield, you can get it. And furthermore, in the top one, we hit on this last time, if you finish Shield Knight, as well as Hero of Justice, you get unlock this thing. Whatever it is. I'm kind of curious, but I'll figure it out on my own time. Well, why don't we take a look at the stats? I wanted to look at it with someone else to get the requirements. But if you qualify, you can see the stats. Very much a defensive. High hit points, high defense, high magic defense. Moderate attack, but basically crap of everything else. So that's the new job. And that concludes everything in the version 2.40 update. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.